So everyone is very excited about technology, you know, talking about the ability to store value, the ability to transfer value, frictionless, uh, and in a decentralized way. So it's making a lot of smart people think and uh, uh, inspiring a lot of smart people. But if we, if we land for, for a moment and look at where we are today, so we see that actually there's a poor adoption, in, in my opinion, to, to blockchain technologies today. Look at the main real free usage for, for blockchain technologies today. Today, as we speak, we only see three. One would be speculation. Most of the people that, that is busy with Bitcoin or blockchain or ICOs or whatever is basically speculating. The second would be a new way for financing projects, which is also kind of related to speculation in some sense. And the third will be black market. Uh, uh, so, you know, even though I strongly disagree with Jamie Dimon about the future of Bitcoin, I can't find a really good argument with him or against what he says uh, about the current situation. Uh, uh, but we, we need to change that. So, so this is the situation right now. And when I'm trying to analyze why is it like that right now and why we don't why mass market users don't enjoy blockchain technologies today, then I find few reasons for that. So one would be uh, 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 the, uh, the, the, there's no killer app. So mass market users, they don't care about blockchain. They only care about value. Same like they don't care about HTTP. What is H they, they shouldn't know what is HTTP and they shouldn't know what is blockchain. They only, should only benefit the value of that. So, for example, uh, uh, I don't know, when I drive my car, I push the gas, my, my car moving forward. I don't know exactly how it works and I shouldn't know. That's a good user experience. But when I need to understand and, and, and know everything uh, uh, in the kitchen, it, it makes no sense and it won't eat mass market adoption. So, there's few things that I think should happen before uh, 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 eating mass market adoption. And, and, and all of them are coming under one big title. This title is user experience. And uh, uh, the main vision that uh, uh, my team and I in Syrian has for, for Syrian Labs is building the bridge between blockchain decentralized apps uh, and mass market usage. And, and, and I believe that the way to do that is, is actually not 100% decentralized. Uh, some, some cases, decentralization is beautiful. But in some cases, I think that if you want to make a, 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 a holistic user experience, then you should take different approaches. So I can I, I, I think that Apple is a good example for that. So I think that, uh, uh, I know that Apple was big inspiration for us over here. And when we looked at, at the first iPhone, then we see that before the iPhone, there was a device called Palm. And Palm was a touch device with a big screen, with a huge developer community. I think it was the biggest at the time, but it didn't succeed. And Apple did succeed. And I think that the main reason that Apple succeeded where Palm failed was because of the closed garden approach, because of the holistic approach, because of the guidelines on how to do things, and, and because of the user experience. So design is not, not only cosmetic design, but a complete flow of how things should go. Uh, and that's exactly what I want to do and build over here. So, we're starting with a phone or with a software that is built on top of a phone simply because, you know, this is not, that's not a phone. It's not a phone. It's a, it's a computer. It's a mobile computer that from history reasons we call a smartphone, even though one of the last thing we do with that is calling and talking to people via the phone. But this computer is with us 
24-7. It's the first thing we do when we wake up. It's the last thing we, we use when we go to sleep. And uh, uh, I think that uh, uh, it's the most important device of this generation. Uh, so it only makes sense that, that all of those applications that people are developing in this community will end up being on a phone or a computer, obviously. Uh, uh, but the problem is huge. Think about it for a second. Every, every company does an ICO to, to finance their project with their own different token. Uh, uh, and for obvious reasons, uh, every, that's the only way to finance themselves right now. Now, the problem is, think about the user experience, the end user experience of, of, of this situation. So, you will have, let's say you will have 10 different apps on your phone, whether it's an iPhone, Android, doesn't matter. And then you have a Spotify on the blockchain, Uber on the blockchain, and whatever, mobile games, a Zynga on the blockchain. Then you, you want to use a game, you want to play Angry Birds, and suddenly the company tells you, oh, you want to play this game, you need to use that token, go to that exchange, and, and you, know, you know, buy some tokens to play the game. So that's not what you're here to do, but okay, you went there, you bought, you bought the tokens, you use them, you go out, you go to a different app, and then the story starts over. Oh, you want to use this app? No, over here you need a different token. Go to that exchange and do this. It won't work. I can guarantee 100% it will fail and not work. I think that the, the only way to build it and to make it work and to bring it to the mass market is to have a lot of complicated work in the background, in the kitchen, but a seamless experience for the user. So we're going to have a, a, a two different ledgers that we're going to use in our system. So, so we're going to completely integrate Banco protocol uh, into our system, not just a token changer or, or a smart token. It needs to be like completely integrated within the phone and within the operating system of what we're building. And uh, 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 the way that it will work is that the user will have SRN and every app that will be preloaded on our phone and, and, and will enter our DAP store will talk automatically to the mainframe. And this mainframe will know that it needs now to change between the SRN token to the relevant token of this app. Uh, but again, it will be in the background. The user doesn't need to know. The user shouldn't care. Uh, uh, second thing that I think is important is to have a, a, a fearless kind of payment network Simply because, you know, uh, 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 when we talk about a lot of the benefits of the blockchain, we're talking about cutting the middleman, and we're talking about uh, low fees and stuff like that, which doesn't happen today. We gotta, we gotta face reality, okay? So when we people say, oh, Ethereum, we've seen a transaction of uh, $20 million and it only, it only costs a dollar and a half, that's cool. But no one talks about the fact that even when I wanna do $10 transaction, uh, uh, it still will cost me same dollar and a half, depends on the cash price that day. And the, but basically, when other micro values uh, 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 transactions is not really viable today, and uh, uh, and we want to change that. So what we're going to take, we're using some of uh, IOTA uh, uh, technology and some of our proprietary technology, but we're building side chains, and we're saying. Whenever the user needs to communicate with a different app within our garden, then we will have a side chain for that. And once in a while, we'll go on chain and balance everything. We'll put it there. Uh, uh, and whenever the user needs to, to uh, 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 do some transactions between him and his friend, it will be on chain. And it will cost whatever the Ethereum network will, will allow at that point. Uh, uh, hopefully it will be more scalable and, and cheaper. Uh, but, but the approach should be hybrid, not uh, uh, necessarily uh, this approach or that approach. For some applications, for some usage, we do need a kind of a fearless, not kind of, fearless payment network that we're building within our uh, uh, system. Uh, uh, the third thing which I think is very important, obviously, is the security. So, 
suddenly instead of uh, JP Morgan holding your money, you have uh, uh, crypto, you hold a lot of value into crypto and uh, uh, obviously you need to have a good user experience but not fight and not damage the security of those values. So we have an experience, we have a good experience, we built this phone, it's a very expensive phone but it's a highly secure phone, considered to be one of the most secure phones in the world and the approach that we took over here is that we built two zones within the phone. So one is the normal Android phone, just because we gotta understand, you know, to build your own operating system means that you're not gonna have Instagram, you're not gonna have Facebook, you're not gonna have Twitter, and it just doesn't cut it. There's no chance that mass market users will use a phone without having a, a, a Google Play Store or Apple App Store and stuff. It's just not gonna happen. So we took the approach of having your normal phone, but then you have a switch over here and in the new phone that we're building, the Fini phone, it will be over there. Uh, uh, and this approach says that when you go to this zone, then you basically have an entirely uh, a kind of a black box experience with completely different um, uh, sensors, cameras, a completely different keyboard, uh, some of the sensors are detached, uh, so you have a completely cold storage wallet uh, in, in that zone to, 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 to store your value. So the three things are fearless payment network, a secure wallet, and a very simple user experience. Okay, so, so those are the three things that we're building the entire system on. User experience, highly secure, and fearless payment network. Uh, now, why do I think that Serial Labs is the right company to do, to do that? Obviously it's, uh, obviously, it's a huge challenge. And when I got into crypto and I started to invest, uh, I said, oh, one day it will get to this, or it will get to that. Uh, uh, it won't. It will only get to high places if entrepreneurs worldwide will take initiative and will work with strong teams to build strong companies. Uh, uh, so just sitting on Bitcoin or Ether and doing nothing wasn't interesting for me. So, you know, I, I sat with, with my team at Siri Labs and, and I think we have one of the best teams out there. So being humble and saying that obviously if Samsung or Apple was in this game, then you know, obviously I would support them and, and, and Siren wouldn't stand a real chance against them at that point. Uh, 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 but, but they're not ill, they're not ill. Apple, Samsung, the huge companies will only join this game in, in the third wave or fourth wave. We're not there yet, we're only the beginning of the second wave, the wave that uh, and not three, four guys with a white paper, more like 30, 40, 50 and above kind of a, 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 a size of team for companies starting to join the game, which is very good news for the industry in my opinion, Bil bringing a lot of experience, learning the new uh, territory and you know, our employees coming from Apple, from AT&T, from Cisco, from Verizon, from the top companies in the world. Uh, we already built one phone successfully. So the phone, I think was the, I don't think I know, it, 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 it's the number one selling phone in the luxury space. I gotta admit that the luxury space is not so big, not what we wanted, but when we decided to focus on, on, on blockchain, uh, 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 then we're on it 100% and I think that we can produce a, a, a super, super high quality product uh, but also bring it to affordable prices and we have a lot of experience on bringing it to, to, uh, uh, to the market. Uh, obviously coming from Israel we also have a lot of uh, experience and high quality engineers uh, uh, in the security space, which I think is also a, a critical point in this. Uh, so, you know, just to wrap it up, I think that uh, uh, we're headed for exciting times. Uh, I'm very passionate and excited about this uh, opportunity. Uh, the team is very passionate and excited about this opportunity, and we will, uh, we, 
we will be very honored if, if, if you choose to, to back us and support what we do. Thank you very much for watching this video. The team in Siri Labs and I are very excited and passionate about this uh, challenge and about building a bridge between blockchain technologies and mass market users. We believe that we're up for that. Uh, please join our uh, community in Telegram. All of the team is there answering questions all the time. You can also look for a lot of information on our website, simulabs.com. Uh, and thank you very much. We're honoring your support.